Hello, this is Miguel Colombo, bringing you the daily headlines from www.maryjanecolombo.com. Here's an interesting contrast in some New York Times articles today, where the travel section describes hotels as islands of cosseted repose, where life's clutter is kept at bay and strangers know what I like to drink while the arts and leisure section describes a guy, natty in bow tie and jacket, who watched commuters hustle through the gray, sunken concrete plaza at Citicorp Center. And at the same time, in another section, an article titled, When the Police Go Military, portrays the evolution of riot gear from the 1968 Democratic Convention in Chicago, pause for effect, to the 1995 Million Man March, a peaceful march, even though Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam were so roundly excoriated by the press, to the 2011 Occupy movement, uh, where's the pepper spray times, Occupy Davis, California, Occupy Denver, Colorado, more from Denver, results of rubber bullets in Denver, a peaceful moment in Oakland, California. Police using clubs in Oakland. Iraq war veteran Scott Olson in Oakland. Occupy Portland, Oregon. Heh, <laughs> Tampa, Florida. Talk about militarization. Chokehold at Occupy Wall Street. Tear gas in Oakland. Meanwhile, more from the Times today, Sunday, December 4th, 2011. We have the DEA laundering drug cartel money. Does this ring any bells? Does it set off any alarms? For many years, I wondered why we went to war in Vietnam, wasting 58,000 American lives and creating untold havoc at home and abroad. Here's one answer oil deposits in the South China Sea, and of course, Lady Bird Johnson owned stock in Bell Helicopters. I have also wondered why the Christian movement is so right-wing conservative. Obviously, both the urban and rural poor have more to gain from a progressive national agenda than they do from protecting the wealthy, and I found the answer to that too. Lately, I have wondered why the New York Times has been burying the Occupy story so deep, hoping it will go away. Well, here's the answer. This is Miguel Colombo, signing off from www.maryjanecolombo.com.